Thank you so much. You guys are already one of the nicest crowds I've gotten to perform for. I'll explain. Uh, so I grew up on welfare. My mom was a single parent, five kids, no child support. And a lot of people find that hard to believe that I was ever that poor. I think it's because of the way I look. Like, I look like everything just, like, worked out. <laughs> In fact, I look like the guy in the movie that yells, don't you know who my father is? <laughs> and I legitimately don't. I know who he is, but not like who he is. <laughs> you miss out on certain things as a poor kid. Like we never had ice cream growing up. The closest thing we had to ice cream, and I hesitate to even call it that, is every once in a while, my mom would buy us that, like, giant, clear value bucket of ice cream. <laughs> Do you remember those where they were, like, too cheap to even be a real flavor? <laughs> we have white and we have darker white. <laughs> this is true. My mom only bought us that ice cream because she needed the bucket. <laughs> I'm not at Walmart, a mopping bucket costs $6.99. Value bucket of ice cream, $4.99. <laughs> it was cheaper than an empty bucket. <laughs> Do you know how shitty your ice cream has to be for it to actually depreciate the value of an empty bucket? <laughs> that means people were like, ah, I don't want that bucket if ice cream's been in there. It might ruin my dirty mop water. <laughs> Some food, though, way too expensive. Who the hell does avocado think it is? <laughs> you know we grow those here, right? <laughs> Yet every restaurant you go into, avocado's like, guys, just so you know, I'm always a dollar extra. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you could just uh, buy me in the store. <laughs> but even then, you really can't eat me until I'm ready. <laughs> oh, whoopsie daisy doozy do. Did you just fall asleep for 10 minutes? Because in that time, I've taken it upon myself to go ahead and die. <laughs> yes, now I taste like wet car keys. <laughs> Meanwhile, bananas only grow in Central America. They cost negative 11 cents. <laughs> you make money buying bananas. Not only were we poor, I also grew up in a big family. So that meant I had to do a lot of things I didn't want to do just because it saved my mom like a little bit of time. Like one summer, my two older sisters, they went to this cheerleading day camp. Now, five minutes up the road was the boys' basketball camp that I really wanted to go to. But because my mom didn't want to drive the extra five minutes every day, she decided, oh, you should just attend the cheerleading camp <laughs> with your sisters. Basically the same thing. <laughs> Those are two wildly different things. That's like if you were in a restaurant and you tried to order a Coke and the server was like, oh, actually, uh, we don't have Coke, but is it okay if I just frame you for arson? <laughs> Basically the same. So I go to this cheer camp, miserable. But eventually I make it to the boys' basketball camp because at the end of the summer, the big grand finale for us gals <laughs> is we get to go up to the boys' camp to cheer them on during one of their games. <laughs> so we walk up there, and before the boys can even take the court, we have to show them what we learned over the summer. So we start them off with probably our most masculine cheer, which just starts with, all right, boys, show us what you got. Show us what you got, boys, show us what you got. <laughs> now, I don't know if you've ever had to cheer someone on as they bully you. <laughs> but it's a lot like if someone shot you and then it was your job to reload their gun for them. <laughs> Don't worry, it gets worse. <laughs> Halftime rolls around, now we have a cheer with some participation built in. 
we have the cheer that goes, we got spirit, how about you? And then the boys are supposed to go, yeah! And then we go, I can't hear you! And then they go, yeah! Even louder. So I step out, I go, we got spirit, how about you? And then the boys take this opportunity to yell, cheer, queer. And then I have to chime back in with, I can't hear you! <laughs> In terms of audiences, you guys are one of the nicer ones I've gotten to perform for. Thank you so much. <laughs>